Who can deny that living in Syria is a gamble? Who can deny that Asham is in shambles? The examples are substantially ample from all different angles. Who denies the mass rape, mass murder, and the dead body samples? Literally, the faces of human race are being disgraced by being trampled and dismantled. We see a heartless regime torturing a mass that no man can handle. We speak about human rights. How dare we speak about human rights? We don't even know the true essence of human life. What about those from the intelligence corps? Claiming to be intelligent, of course. Maybe they're just afraid of a foreign intelligence force, so they sit back and enjoy the Syrian corpse. We don't ask for governmental help when its leaders are not reliable. We simply ask for a leader to intercept the forces of evil that are violating the inviolable. How can we have time to worry about the blood being spilt on the Syrian streets? When our time is being consumed arguing about closing the gaps between our feet. Our time is being preoccupied worrying about worldly things and egos that tell us not to care about Bengalis if we're Chinese. Or to disregard the African race if we're Guyanese. Or to look down on others if they're not a part of our our family tree. We will never be worried about our Syrian friends if it doesn't concern ourselves. Yet if it was our health or wealth in danger, we'd scream for help. Try to remember your childhood days where the past is still within your reach. All those tears caused by fear from the fictitious books you'd read. Remember the times where we wanted to exchange nightmares for dreams. Then remember growing up paying to see the same nightmare scenes on the big movie screens. Then we became so attached to the comforts of life and forgot that life actually existed overseas. You know a place where nightmares are haunting children during daylight for free. You must have heard about the neighborhoods and homes under siege. You must have heard about the Syrian lives being seized. You've surely seen some news feed or read some report on Daily Newsweek. Or you must have seen a clip or two on your computer screen accidentally. Now picture yourself on the flat screen, seeing yourself being tortured in HD. The surround sound capturing the echoing screams of your family being beaten publicly. You fixate your eyes on something so crystal clear to only find out that the people being brutally killed are from your social sphere. Oh my dear Syria, don't despair for your home's vacancy. The human race will be replaced with Allah's help and the supernatural agencies. The angels will help you fight through this with the guidance that's right. Allah will convert your fear into might just as He makes the days convert into nights. All the mothers beaten in Sham should be considered our mothers. All the sisters raped in Baba Amr by Islam are related to each other. The father Others injured and harms will never recover until they become to us what we are like to our blood brothers. Muslims, please take heed of this evil. Raise your voice and donate your du'as to the Syrian people.